What's up guys, Drum here from Plika, and today I have my top 5 video for Arrow Season 5, Episode 7. It was a really fun episode of Arrow this week. I haven't done a video for Arrow in a little while, which I kind of missed. I really wanted to do it last week because I really liked last week's episode. But let's get into my top 5. My number 5 moment is that I really liked the trick Arrow this episode. When Arrow was helping out, he was protecting the guy that's been robbing the banks all episode. He shoots like a tarp, bulletproof tarp over the window. Because the vigilante is coming and shooting at them. Um, I really, really enjoy these trick arrows that they have this, this season. Like they had the parachute arrow. He even had the, the parachute arrow again, I think, last episode when he helped that guy out on the train. Like that's just a re really cool idea. It makes it a little more comic booky, a little more fun for the show. Um, and I also like to imagine that Oliver has like 15 different types of arrows like in his little quiver on his back. But yeah, so my number five moment is that I really, really enjoyed, or I really enjoy the trick errors that they have this season. I think it's a really cool thing to bring to the show. <coughs> oh, man, I'm a coffee little boy. My number four moment is I really, really am enjoying the flashbacks this season with Dolph Lundgren. I actually kind of hope that Arrow doesn't beat him in the flashbacks and that they bring him over to the main storyline like next season or maybe later on this season or something because like those are the most entertaining, one of the most entertaining moments of the show this season so i think it'd kind of be a letdown if oliver just beats him in the past I maybe mean, you still get to see it but i think it'd be cool to see like team arrow fight him and see what else what other kind of bad guy they can build him up to be um so i, I kind of have hopes for that I, it probably won't happen but that that'd be real cool if like oliver actually loses in the flashbacks gets sent back to the island then he gets rescued and then we're like oh he actually never beat that guy and that could be the villain of season six or whatever you know man my number three moment is that vigilante was in this episode now i don't know anything about vigilante i haven't even heard of him in the comics up until this episode but i have heard that if you understand like if you know his character from the comics you will know instantly who he is on the show so i kind of want to do some reading on him just to maybe figure that out i guess he's kind of like a punisher character where his whole family got gunned down like punisher style so now he became a vigilante to get justice but he's not afraid to kill someone kind of does seem like the same character except he wears like a cool outfit instead of just like a skull on his chest or whatever but i have a feeling because the way they set up this episode now i could be completely wrong and they were tricking me but i looked it up before this i completely forgot his name the officer that was doing the interrogating this episode and then Oliver was like, <clears throat> wow, that was impressive. Like, he's like, oh, well, it gets uh, answers or whatever. I think that guy might be the vigilante only because, like, he seemed to be, like, important. They haven't, like, they show him more than just, like, a background character. And he's been in multiple episodes. And when Oliver says, oh, you better do this quick because I don't think the vigilante is going to wait for a warrant, he goes, no, no, he won't. But, like, they, they, they could have just set that up because it was supposed to trick me. But I don't know, I've been thinking, I thought for a while he's going to be some kind of a vigilante or some kind of important character, and then they did that, and also it was the episode the vigilante was in, and then right after that scene the vigilante was there with Arrow, I don't, it just seemed like too much of a coincidence for it to be wrong, but I could be completely wrong, but that's kind of my theory on that one. <coughs> oh my god, I have so much snot in my throat, it's so gross. My number two is that Quentin finally went to rehab. They've been, like, setting that up all season, He's been going, or going, but then he doesn't really show up, and he's been lying to all them. And I was kind of afraid that they were just kind of, like, set his character off to die this season the way they're treating him. Oh, hold on, I have to sneeze. Ah, bless me. Ugh, if you don't bless me down in the comments below, you're a jerk. <laughs> Anyways, I thought they were going to set his character up to die this season. Or something along the lines to make him not like that much of a main character. Um, But now that I, they're doing the Prometheus thing with him where he got cut last episode, which I really wanted to talk about last week. And now he's hanging out with Thea. And he, but she's been hanging out with her all season. But she's like getting him help now. She actually put him into rehab. He actually went... And I think it's slowly going to bring it back to where he's working with Team Arrow again. Because I think that's my favorite moments of him. Is when he's working with them. 
uh, uh, like helping them take down the bad guys. I that's my favorite Quentin. I don't really like the drunken, sad Quentin. Even though I love him, he's like one of my favorite characters in the show. I, but like a normal person, you see them like that. You want them to get better. So I'm glad he's getting better. Um, I hope he joins Team Arrow soon and helps them take down Prometheus. Since Prometheus is kind of fucking with him, it gives him more of a reason to want to help too. In my number one, speaking of Prometheus, is that Artemis is apparently working with Prometheus in some kind of way. She's probably the one that's been telling him. All the information he has on Arrow, if unless he's Tommy or something like I think he is, then he already knows that. But like he, she is his in in Team Arrow, which makes sense when they're in that bus. Why he didn't hurt her, and she actually seemed like she was taking him in the fight scene, is because they probably knew that Arrow was gonna come and save her, so they weren't going at their full like potential. Um, uh, so I'm really interested in seeing where that's gonna go. What sucks is there is no Arrow next week. Uh, it's because they have to give time for Flash to catch up and shit. But the next episode of Arrow is the 100th episode, which is the second or third episode in the crossover. Which, oh my god, if you didn't see my Supergirl video, I'm so excited for the crossover. I did a, not a breakdown, but I talked about the trailer a little bit. Um, it, it just looks so much fun. Like, th- their crossover episodes are usually my favorite ones. And now that they have one going through every single show, I am so excited because, like, <coughs> oh, my God, there's, like, so much plum in me. I'm turning into a booger by the end of this video. Oh, and I just want to shout out here at the end on Friday. So it might not upload Friday. It's either going to upload Friday night or Saturday morning. Me and my sister, because Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is coming out, um, <coughs> which is probably out by the time you're watching this video, to be honest. We want we wanted to watch all the Harry Potter movies because we see we saw a lot of them with my older sister as we were growing up, but we don't really remember a lot of them. Which as now we're watching them, we kind of are. Like I think I've seen up to five. So we wanted to rewatch them. But what we're doing is we're watching the first four, and then we're gonna do an episode of I'm a Goldfish, which is our podcast about it. And then we're gonna watch the next five since the last movie is two parts. And then we're gonna do a podcast about that. And then we're gonna do a podcast about Fantastic Beasts. So there'll be three. Technically, three Harry Potter podcasts coming to that soon. So if you like Harry Potter, go subscribe to Adam and Goldfish. And you, you don't even have to subscribe. Just go check out the video because it, it's going to be a lot of fun us making it. Because we've it's like we've never talked about Harry Potter before because we were never really Harry Potter fans. But now that we're watching it, like we're loving it. So if you're interested in Harry Potter, go check that out. Uh, it might be fun for you to listen to. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what was your favorite moment from Arrow this episode. And tell me who you guys think that the vigilante is, because I'm interested to see what you guys think. Or even tell me who do you guys think Prometheus is, because I still I think the vigilante is that cop, and I think Prometheus. I'm hoping that Prometheus is still Tommy. It uh, probably won't be, but I'm still hoping for that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys next week.